Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to do the last two tasks in OWASP Top 10 Try Hack Me, which is part of CompTIA Apprentice Plus pathway. So basically, uh, in this video, I'm going to do the components with known vulnerabilities. As you can see, the answers. I'm going to only explain. Uh, I'm going to go over only with explanations for components with known vulnerabilities, as all of you know how to download and exploit and run it. So task 28 and 29 are all about finding an exploit and run it. Right now, we have also insufficient logging and monitoring. So we, I'm going to first go over very briefly with this part. So with this part, is, it's all about um, navigating to the UAE target here. So I'm launching that this time from the attack box given in try hack me. So once we navigate to the IP, as you can see, here's an explanation about, it's not about the, it's not a walkthrough. It is um, just explanation to get you started how to solve this task. So you will navigate to the IP, you find the version and the application, you find an exploit and you run it. That's the methodology of this um, task. It's very easy. And here I'm waiting for the browser to launch. While this is being uh, launched, Maybe it's going to take like four or five years. I'm going to head over to insufficient logging and monitoring. So here we have a log file. We will download a log file and analyze it. So after analyzing the file, we need to be able to answer two questions. What's the IP address the attacker is using? What kind of attack is being carried out? So if I open the log file here, this is the log file. And as a penetration tester, or as a cybersecurity, uh, if you work in the blue team or red team, you should be familiar with log files and at least be able to interpret and um, understand what's happening. So here I have, as you can see, the response code from the browser. And you have the IP. As you can see, it seems to be here a username being uh, tried out. And you have the timestamp and we have the page. So basically, as you can see, all of these users come from different IP addresses and they receive 200 response code from the browser, which means that they are able to log in. Now we can see here in the last four lines, we can see we have another attempt to log in with admin username on the page login timestamp, but they received an unauthorized response code. Also, when they try with administrator, they received unauthorized. As you can see, the same IP address. So without going back to answer the questions, from the last four lines, we can understand, or we can uh, conclude that there is an attempt to brute force the username of the login page here. And this attempt comes from one IP address. So let's go back and answer the questions. So here, what IP address is attacker using? We can just copy that. You see, I told you, it's taking four years to open the browser in the box. I'm gonna close this box, actually. Uh, we can work this from my machine, terminate. Okay, now what kind of attack is being carried out? So here, as you can see, when different um, or rice combinations of usernames or passwords are tried against a login form, we call this brute force. Okay, so this is finished and we can close the series, but let's go over this. Uh, let me head to my machine.
Okay, so I take the IP address and I launch the browser on my machine. As you can see, it doesn't take four years. Okay, let's navigate, open the page. So this is an online CSC bookstore. Now, as I said earlier, we need to find uh, components with no vulnerabilities about finding the application running and its version. So one way to do that is to look in the footer, but nothing in here. So we resort to looking in the page source. So if you go down, online, online bookstore. This site has been made using PHP and PHP with MySQL. The layout, use Bootstrap to make it more responsive. All right. So, so here, as you can see, the application is Bookstore on PHP, online CSE Bookstore on PHP. So the next step comes is finding an exploit. So as all of you know, we use Google online PHP book store exploit. So we have online bookstore 1.0 on authenticated remote code execution. So we go through the exploit. We see here um, the parameters required, the arguments. So you have the URL. So it seems like all we have to do is to put the URL. And of course, we have the CMD. The CMD is the command to be executed. So we can try this. Let's start on this exploit. sudo python. And the name of the exploit. And of course, we provide the URL. So we take the URL. So you do wish to launch a shell here. We type yes. And as you can see, we have received the reverse shell ID. We are dub 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 data. And let's let's find the flag or let's see the question. What is the question to be answered? Uh, okay. The question: How many characters in etc password use C dash c to get the answer? So it's pretty easy to get the answer, right? Just type this to find the number of characters. Yeah, it's uh, blatantly easy. So that's just, that was about it with for the components with no vulnerabilities. Determining the software, running, finding the version, and then the ready exploit. So that was about OS top 10 from CompTIA Pentest Plus. Now, what's the next step that I am going to do here? I'm going to head back to my dashboard. So, CompTIA Pentest Plus, learn. There are, where are the pathways? I remember there, there is pathways here. Something about the pathways. Compete, other, learning path, okay. There is K here. Did you see the K? <laughs> All right, so we have completed 54 of the CompTIA Pentest Plus. Um, now, as you can see, pen testing tools, we have talked about pen testing tools, Nmapper, Suite, Metasploit, Nexus, Hydra. Now, application-based vulnerabilities, we completed OWASP top 10. And the next step is to head to OWASP Juice Cha Cha, Juice Cha, 
and juice shop and Volner city for well, fundamentals it's pretty easy it's not about cyber security it's all about um getting you familiar to how the web works so i'm not gonna uh, go over this room it's very easy you can go and read it so the next step is was juice shop which is very cool and we will start this in the next videos